Cha, cha, cha. Y bo bueno. Ue. Cha, cha, cha. Y bo bueno. Ue. Cha, cha, cha. Y bo bueno. Ue. A bien bueno. Ue. A nombre bueno. Ue. E bo y bueno. Ue. E no go bueno. Ue. Y bo bueno. Ue. Nigeria, Kwezo no. Hello, friends and loved ones and families who are ardent uh, listeners or watchers of my program, my Igbo program. I salute all of you. I guess you all are fine. I hope you had a beautiful day. All right. Um, it's I, Mr. B, or a full fledged. A full fledged Igbo song and teacher of Igbo language, culture, and tradition, including general issues that affect our lives the lives of uh, the Igbo and the lives of non Igbo, including general public. The general public, all right. Um, in our last lesson, I, I told you some of the additional things that could easily make one to become Osu in a typical Igbo setting. You know, when I say typical Igbo setting, I'm kind of uh, trying to let you know that religion has entered, I mean, Christianity has entered. So, so many things that were abhorred back then, you know, uh, have been kind of uh, abrogated by Christianity, that is a religion called Christianity. So, uh, when I say typical Igbo setting, I mean uh, where the Igbos you know, do not talk about religion or kind of break Christianity into it. They just want to follow the rules, the ways of their forefathers, those who actually uh, were in, brought about so many Igbo beliefs, you know, Igbo cultures and traditions. All right. Now, what I would say here is that I understand the government or people in authorities have really tried to ensure that this Usu caste system was brought to an end. They have tried so many things within their means and powers to abrogate this Usu caste system. But the funniest thing about it is that those who actually have been advocating that the Usu should be kind of completely wiped out, wouldn't even allow any of their children to get married to someone who is regarded in Igbo land as Usu. What a funny thing. You want something to go. You are in support of it to be wiped out. You are in support of it to be abrogated so that nothing again will be heard about it. But you wouldn't allow your own child to marry someone who is one of them, those who's. So what exactly are you talking about? So you see why this thing has not left the shores of Nigeria, especially in the Igbo land. Many Igbo people will come out in the open and say, uh, what is this also all about? It has to be abrogated. Let's just uh, forget about this thing. We all are the same. We all are one in the eyes of our Lord, you know, the God who made us. So that's the logic. Everybody will want to say that. But when it comes to practicality of it, you notice that most of those people who act were actually advocating that also be wiped away. That is the uh, the Usu caste system be wiped away, will not allow anyone from their own families, from their you know, communities, who are very close, who, those who are very close to them, to get married to Usu people. Then this brings me to this. When someone sleeps with an Usu and does not say it, in most places nobody would know that such a thing actually took place. And the, the issue of cleansing will not come up. A lot of people have gone out there, you know, had one or two entangles, sexual entangles, sexual tangles with uh, the so called uh, uh, Usu people without anybody knowing about it. Some are even married to them secretly. Yeah, clandestinely. There are people who are married to the same Usu people, living with them outside their shores. They wouldn't want to go to their homelands for, uh, for the fear of being 
castigated for the fear of being called upon to be you know to face the law the rules of the land or the laws of the land because once such a thing takes effect people there are people who know that you actually did that they will be the one to stand and you know uh, kind of stand and say yes this man you know or this woman is married to an Usu. so that's why the it typically Ebola is advisable that once Anybody wants to get married, whether a man or a woman, the person should come home. Even though the person does not want to get married to uh, someone from the same community or from the same, uh, you know, uh, abode. Or how would I put it? Let a person bring who he or she wants to get married to, to the community. Or the person should let the community know about someone he or she wants to get married to. The name, the place where the person comes from. You know, you know the elders in the homeland, the older, the elders in the the hinterlands, how they run their things. They will go behind your back to make inquiries, proper inquiries, you know, uh, to find out if the person, their son or daughter, is getting married to or intends to get married to is freeborn, madiala, diala, not an usu, an outcast. You know, usually, the usu people do not even go out to make such inquiries because they believe we are one. You know, just uh, as I mentioned in the first episode, I think uh, if you want to get married to any of them, they will see people. No need to ask you about uh, where you, they will ask you where you come from, what you believe in. Some of them will even tell you what they are. They open up to you and tell you what this is what they are before you're going into it. Yes, some truthful ones still exist. They will tell you, we are ostracized people. We were born out of, uh, you know, slave slavery. Now we are referred to and seen as Usus. So if actually you want to get married to our daughters or sons, you have to know this, I you know, at first hand, so that you wouldn't come and say you were not told. Now why the the, uh, the open-minded ones do this? There are ones among them who wouldn't do that. They just leave you then because probably you are rich and they wouldn't want uh, to miss someone if a rich in law like you okay they want to get married to one of their daughters they will allow you to go ahead with that okay and one thing about that is that once you've had a child with an usu person so i'm saying all this based on the beliefs of the typical Igbo city okay in my place is highly abhorred is taboo you don't try it you don't do it once you've done that they will know i wouldn't know how they get to know probably their duties are you know, never sleep are always uh, watching <laughs> even their sons and daughters that live outside of their shores okay now let's look at it this way i want us to know that a lot of us actually have had one tango or the other with the same issues especially those who do not live in their homelands, in their state, uh, in their communities, in their villages. Uh, what about those people who reside abroad? So what would we say about them? A lot of them, them you know, have got married to Usu, so a lot of my dear, like that is a free bonds, have got married to Usu without knowing, and when they finally noticed that such a person is this, they would go ahead with the marriage. So you wouldn't tell them that they should do away with a woman or a man who, with whom they have had one, two, or more issues with, uh, you know, children. You want them to chase the person away, then the kids will become motherless or fatherless. It does not happen. A lot of people will say, whatever that would happen, let it happen. So in my, in my own opinion, I would say that this also thing should be abrogated. Even though so many governments have tried, or already tried in the past, to make sure that this became I think of the past, they, 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 were, they, are, uh, they were never successful. That's why it still does exist. All right, I would say that uh, we are one. Okay? We are really one people. And we should accept everyone as one. Because before the eyes of God who created us, or rather, He still creates humans, he, there is nothing like this one is freeborn, this one is an outcast. We all are one. It's high time we left this belief and faced the truth. The truth is that God never created 
after Adam and if God never created another couple, okay, from where we would say we would say the Osus immigrated. It's only Adam and if I wouldn't understand how uh, one or two or more sons or daughters of Adam and Eve would suddenly become slaves, referred to out, uh, to as outcasts. No, that's not possible. That's why we are one. I plead with the government to kind of uh, put, uh, you know, fix laws that would take care of anybody who kind of goes against the grain as to calling these people also or ostracizing them for that or kind of neglecting them. All right, guys, that's all for now. Bye bye.